we are continuing with chapter 8, section 2. All right, we're going to be work, learning how to simplify expressions dealing with rational expressions. So right now, I want you guys to look very carefully at this 6AB and this 8A. What we got to find is we got to find the least common multiple between a 6AB and an 8A. What's the least common multiple between a 6 and an 24? What's the least common multiple between an A, B, and a, an A, and a B? So we have to find, this is going to be our least common multiple, which is actually going to turn out to be what's called the least common denominator. So right now, I'm going to rewrite this. I've got 5 over A6 times A, B minus A7 over 8A. Now, understand, our denominator is going to be a 24AB. Because right now I cannot subtract these because these do not have the same denominator. I'm going to change colors here. I've got to multiply this fraction by the same number. I've got to multiply this fraction by another number. So what number would I have to multiply 6 by to get to a 24? If I multiply the denominator by 4, I've got to multiply the numerator by 4 because 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I'm not changing the value of the number, I'm just changing the way it looks. So now, in the numerator, we have a 24. In the denominator, we have a 24 times A times B. What number would I have to multiply to an 8 to get to a 24? Now this is an 8A, but I don't want there just to be an A. I also need there to be a B. B. So I have to multiply the denominator and the numerator by a 3B. That's right. Now, think about what the denominator becomes. 3 times 8 is 24. A times B is AB. Do you guys see how these now are exactly the same? 7 times 3B is a 21B. Because you have the least common denominator, now you can take these numbers and simply subtract them. But they're not like terms. So since they're not like terms, you would write 20 minus 21B all over 24AB. I'm trying to make that B a better B, so you don't think it's a 6. 21, and that's a B right there. So your final answer is 20 minus 21B over 24AB. Just remember, that 24AB that we just got there, that was our least common multiple. So you always have to find your least common multiple first. We're going to go down to problem number 14. We're going to skip 12 because it's just too easy. We're going to go down to problem 14. We're going to highlight this denominator, which is an x squared minus 15. I'm going to highlight this denominator, which is an x plus 4. Hopefully you can see how these are definitely not the same. Okay? This denominator is what's called a difference of squares. And it factors to x plus 4 to x minus 4. This denominator is just an x plus 4. So what do we have to find? We've got to find what's known as the least common multiple between an x plus 4, an x minus 4, and an x plus 4. That is just x plus 4 x minus 4. That is the least common multiple. It is just x plus 4 and x minus 4. So now we know our least common multiple. We know exactly what our common denominator, our least common denominator is going to be. So the cool thing is, is the first part of this question, you don't have to do anything. You just got to put x plus 4, x minus 4. You don't, got to, don't have to change anything. Put plus. I've got a 2. And here in the denominator, I have an x plus a 4. But I'm not done. I've got to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the piece that is missing. What is this denominator missing that it wish 
Yeah. 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 Alright, so this denominator is an x plus 4 and an x minus 4. Well, we've got to take this 2 and we need to distribute it to the x and to the negative 4. So you're going to put 2x minus 8 right up here in the numerator. Bringing down 16 over the x plus 4 and the x minus 4. So hopefully you guys can see that this right here is the same denominator now. So now we're allowed to do what? We're simply allowed to take all of this and what? Combine everything that we can combine. So what are the only two numbers that we can combine between a 16 and a 2x and a negative 8? Negative 8 and 16. Alright, so what's 16 minus 8? 8. Here we go, right? So right now, I'm going to write 2x plus 8 over our common denominator of an x plus 4 and an x minus 4. My board is resetting, so I can't call it. Uh, I know. That's your last one. There we go. Alright. X plus 4. X minus 4. Now, this is where you have to ask yourself. Self, am I done? Or can I go just a little bit further? Because a lot of students will say, Aha! I'm done. I'm finished. I'm going to move on. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Then there's other students who are like, wait a second. I can factor out a oh, two. Yeah. And this becomes an x. And that becomes a 4. Because 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 4 is 8. And then that other student will realize, wait a second. Anything that's in the numerator that's exactly the same as in the denominator, like maybe this guy, what can I do with those guys? Cancel them out and do a 1, right? x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 is a 1. So now we can actually go to bed knowing we finish this problem into its most simple answer. This is the simplified answer to our original problem because no other factors are common in the numerator than are in the denominator. Okay? That's what you're going to be doing on the rest of this assignment. Good luck.